Research in Saudi Arabia tends to show that, unlike all other baboons, the Hamadreas did not originate as a species in Africa, but in Arabia. More than 400,000 years ago, while the Earth was being transformed through a period of glaciation, the mass of polar ice was high and sea levels consequently low. The southern door of the Red Sea, known as the Bab al-Mandib Straits, was closed by a strip of land joining the Horn of Africa to the Arabian Peninsula. Over this land bridge, ancestors of baboons from Africa were able to cross from one continent to another. They spread throughout the southwest of the peninsula, all along the Sarawat and Hejaz mountains. When global temperatures rose and glaciation retreated, sea levels rose and isolated these migrating baboons on the Arabian Peninsula. In these hot, arid lands, the isolated baboons adapted their morphology and physiology to become the species we now know as Hamadreas. 20,000 years ago, during another glaciation period, when the land bridge was once more open, some of them returned to Africa to form the Hamadreas population that is now found in Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Somalia. The Hamadreas is the smallest species of baboon, with males, easily recognizable by their manes, rarely exceeding 24 kilograms, and females about half of that. Another adaptation to the arid environment is the light color of their hair that better reflects the rays of the sun. They live in large groups in rocky mountains where they can find safe sleeping sites and fresh water. Their diet is omnivorous, but plant leaves and fruit make up the bulk of it. In the natural wild state, Hamadria's society is organized into family units with a dominant male and several adult females and their offspring. When females display a swollen rump, it shows the male that they are ready to mate. Each female can produce one baby every two years. It is within these family units that we see the grooming behavior characteristic of all baboons. Each family unit is part of a clan, which is in turn part of a band. The community or troop is a collection of clans. The troop as a whole may number more than a hundred individuals. Among the 234 monkey species in the world, herding behavior is a unique adaptation of the Hamadryas baboon. In each family, the male keeps its females together and unavailable for the sexual advances of other males. To achieve this, the male shows aggression towards his own females. It can range from severe looks and frightening postures to biting when necessary. This social organization reduces aggression between males, facilitates reproduction, and minimizes energy consumption in an environment of limited food resources. But where human civilization develops, it usually becomes harder for other species to compete. So it is for the Hamadreas baboon. Human activity has proved destructive for their social organization. Overgrazing from livestock, deforestation, forest fires, in addition to drought, have reduced their habitat and pushed them to shift to garbage dumps, public parks, and anywhere they can scavenge easy food from human waste. The natural, social balance of many wild baboon troops has been corrupted. As they become increasingly dependent on man, they change from truly wild to commensal. Easy food led to a rapid increase of baboon populations, with commensal troops being five times bigger than wild troops, and sometimes reaching more than 600 individuals. The resulting overcrowding of the social order has produced an increase in the number of independent females and bachelor males threatening the integrity of family units. Under pressure, dominant males are less willing to keep more than one female in their family unit and become more aggressive in herding their females. Increasingly, this involves the male actually physically holding on to those females ready to mate. These large commensal troops of Hamadryas baboons have become a problem for people living on the periphery of towns. We should try to solve this problem, perhaps by reducing baboon numbers through sterilization 
by preventing their access to garbage dumps and the exercise of greater civil discipline by not feeding the baboons or leaving waste food along roadsides and in picnic areas. Perhaps, in this way, we could help the Hamadryas baboon to return to its natural condition, as God intended. <laughs>